what's next? So we looked, we've just looked at fire, which, uh, yeah, we kind of probably should do something over here as well. Uh, what about we put in just like, maybe just a firehouse? What do we think? Like down there, maybe? The, the firehouse gives like fairly lousy coverage, though. It should be enough. It should be enough for this, though. We'll live with it. Right, okay, so that's that. Uh, next. I've got this on pause. Take it off pause. That would be better. Let's check. Right, there you go. It's a lot better. A lot better than it was. Uh, Nanny Giggles is a fire hazard, but that's a completely different story. Uh, crime. How are we doing for crime? Uh, the answer is... Every, see, everything is low. Oh, it's all blue, so it, like, our crime levels are very low. Now, why is that? Because we've only got, like, one police station. Why are our crime levels so low? And the answer is because I've put in loads of education. So, that's the answer to that. But, the uh, especially, like, the, the, the offices and commercial, they like police coverage. Uh, it makes them feel good, and it helps them to level up. And you can see a lot of this stuff really hasn't leveled up that much. So, we're going to sort that out now. We're down to 17000 a week. You can see how putting all these services in really eats into your cash. And if you start out putting in loads of services right from the beginning, you're going to struggle with cash, guys. So, learn that lesson. See, a police headquarters is 1600 a week. Okay, that's like... 10% of our, our current profits, uh, but we're going to put one in, and we're going to put it in probably kind of centrally-ish. Um, that's already occupied there. How about... Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, over here. There we go. Right, that's going to make these guys happy. Now, are we going to have lots of bling-bling-blings as buildings level up? Oh, yes, we are. Look, a couple over there. Another one. Oh, yeah, yeah. See, they're starting to level up now. They're getting very, very happy. I think we probably... What's that coverage like? We probably want one somewhere over here. So I'm thinking maybe we put... What's this? What's this building? I don't, I don't know what this building is. I'll, I'll look afterwards, but I'm going to put a police station next to it. Oh, and that's made a whole bunch more people happy. What's this building? Is it, a, is it a high school? It's a hospital, isn't it? No, it's a fire station. Oh, well, that's cool, putting the police station and the fire station together. I'm not unhappy about that. My God, you wouldn't want to live opposite with all the blooming sirens. Drive you crazy, wouldn't it? Uh, you know what? Actually, let's look at the noise pollution, because I'll bet that they create... Oh, actually, no. I'm surprised. I would have thought that they would have been really, really noisy. There you go. Right. Now let's look at transport. Okay. And when we look at our transport option, uh, our transport info view, we get to see things like the subways. And if you zoom in and have a look, there, subway train, subway train. Look, we well, yeah, subway train, metro train, underground. There you go. So there's the train. Should we follow it? Let's fo oh, get up, up, up. Oh, no. <laughs> I would if I could click on it. Let's take a ride. This is the apparently the number four train. And I should know that because I, I used to work. Um, I used to work down just near Wall Street. Uh, but we had another office uh, at the... Um, oh, it used to be called the Pan Am building. What the hell is it called now? Yeah, it's a building above, above um, Grand Central. Um, so I used to catch the four train, like, quite a lot. Look at this, we're taking a ride on the subway through Manhattan. How cool is that? Okay, that's enough, that's enough of subway riding. So let's go back down here to Macy's. Okay, here's our giant mall. He said the giant mall has, has already has subways. No, um, no, it doesn't, unless I'm misunderstanding what he said. Okay, well, maybe. Wouldn't be the first time. Now, like a lot of our commercial is complaining that they don't have goods. Uh, how many are we getting on the on the subway? Right, just that one subway line. We are getting uh, twelve hundred a week now, 
which is pretty darn good. Got one or two dead bodies that need picking up. Are they going to go away? Oh, no, zoom in. Loads of dead bodies. Good Lord. And garbage. What's that garbage situation? Eh, garbage is okay. There's a bit around the... Oh, cut... Whoa! Wow, okay, we've just grown a lot. 42,000 colossal city. And we now have unlocked a nuclear power plant. Wow, and we, we can buy like two new tiles now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, I knew there was something I was going to put in, and I haven't put in. We need to do it. We need to do it now. And that is, we need to put in the Staten Island Ferry. Oh, yeah. So, hang on. Where do we go? We go. We, well, we're on transport, so I guess we were getting there. Right, let's go over here. Here is our, uh, our, our passenger docks. Now, we've got, we've got two types of docks. We've got cargo docks, the cargo harbour. And, uh, and a regular touristy one. Now, the Staten Island Ferry, which it's kind of just about there on the tip of, uh, tip of Manhattan. You've got the, the, the Statue of Liberty stuff over here. So we're going to put it in there. Boom. Now, we need, to, uh, we need to hook the roads up is the only thing. So, yeah, let's do that. Now, what, what sort of roads is um, is this? It's just a, a regular little two-way road. Well, we can... I think we'll probably stick with that. Uh, what do I want to do? Why can't... Why, why isn't this giving me options there? Oh, because I've got the upgrade tool on. <laughs> Idiot. Idiot. Uh, how about we go up here a little bit and then hook it up there? And then we'll go along. I try not to knock down the commercial bits to there and run it through. Uh, actually, if I go a little bit further to there and then hook it up to that one, I think that makes more sense, doesn't it? I probably should have done the same thing here, shouldn't I? Like that. Yeah, that. That's better. Less junctions on the roads. I'd rather have sort of, you know, four-way junctions with long roads than uh, short junctions. Uh, right, zoning. I want to zone this back in. What are we going to zone in here? I think I think we'll zone some. I think we'll zone some high-density commercial down here. Yeah, that's cool. That works for me. Right. So we now have, guys. Oh, did I put a cargo? God, I don't, don't, how much do I suck? No, did, I thought colossal lines. No, this is the this is the right one. This is the passenger ferries. I thought I'd put the wrong one in then. Right, let's speed this baby up. I want a ferry. I want a ferry, and I want a ferry now. Oh, look at all the buildings starting to level up. You wait till we start to get right, like really leveled up. It's all going to look so bright and shiny. Where? Come on, where's the? Where's a ferry? Give me a ferry. I want a ferry, and I want a ferry now. It's operating normally. Now this is going to bring in um, tourists and like whatever. Still getting garbage messages, which is kind of a little bit annoying. Um, I want to put in some generic industry. So uh, what I'm thinking is to put maybe an industrial area round here. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. So I'm just going to take some like plain four-way roads. And I'm not going to do anything fancy. I'm going to try not to do anything fancy. I'm just going to put in like, like an industrial park kind of thing up here. So there and then across there. And then across that, it's going to be very, you know, really boring. I really want this to be like nothing exciting at all. Uh, two lane road. I'm just going to run, I think, some spurs into this uh, into this area. Just to kind of sort of fill it up a little bit. But I, I want this to feel like like an industrial park. So, uh, the other side we'll do differently. We'll run a section in there. 
and a section down here and then um, hmm actually I might run yeah actually I'm gonna, I'm gonna just just to kind of make it a bit different and then run a couple of spurs into here there and there cool right uh, we need power and I'm guessing we probably need water as well. Yeah, we do. So, let's uh, run a pipe down here. Oh, come on, go. Go sort of straight-ish. That'll do. Let's run that pipe across there. Then up there. I'm going to link it back up to there. Then we're going to run some pipes up here. Ah, oh, come on. Come on, come on, give me coverage, give me coverage. No. There we go. And another one. That's close enough. That's too close. That'll do. And finally, one up the centre. Bump, that's... Okay, well, we need a little spur there <laughs> the OCD people will be like oh my god why why did you put them straight okay so uh, now we want some electricity where have I got electricity I've got electricity over here so if I run some cables to like this corner and then into actually that's that's not a great there and then into this corner then how about uh, I know I'll lose a few squares but I don't really care too much I'll run that down there and I'm gonna run it I'm gonna run it right right round into here cool do I do I run it across here as well yeah I do yeah I do I'm just gonna run it like Oh, come on, stop stop snapping. It's kind of frustrating. What if I go right up here? What do you... T stop snapping. Okay, that'll do. I'm, I can't be bothered to fuss with it. Right, let's um, put in industrial. How's our industrial demand? Virtually zero. So, uh, it's what it is. I want the marquee tool. We're going to zone in this whole area as generic industry. Uh, I'm just going. I'm going to dezone this bit up here. There we go. And I might dezone this little bit down here. There we go. Cool. Right. So we've bumped. Uh, we've bumped that up. We still get in demand for uh, for commercial, but hopefully, if we can start to, to put some of that generic industry in, I'm hoping it might solve this problem about these guys not getting um, supplies. And we've got we've got a decent route into the city for them. The uh, the nanny giggles roundabout is going to be a bit of a nightmare, though. Uh, I need to put buses in and bus routes. Good Lord, so much to do. Now, this has got to come down here and round here to get into this area. And I'm really starting to think that maybe we need to give them an alternative route. So how about, let's go to highways. Where's, um, see, once you start getting a few people in the city, you need to start sort of planning out stuff a little bit better. And this is obviously like a bit of a nightmare so I think a lot of the, a lot of this is car traffic which should come down here but there's also some like commercial stuff which shouldn't so if I go to roads and I go to highways and I take a ramp now what the thing is what am I going to do with it um, I can certainly create an off-ramp and then bring that around with uh, a nice four-way road. Like across here. 
uh, there, yeah, there, and then hook it up to there. Right, so what does that do? Do any of our cars divert? Okay, well, yeah. Now, oh, can you see we've got some disappearing cars up here? If it wasn't for that disappearing car mechanism, my highway would probably be completely, totally jammed at this point. Now, nobody's taking this other route. Oh, there's one or two cars taking the other route. Well, that's going to help a little bit, diverting some of that traffic. Most of it is coming straight down into the town, though, which I guess is kind of understandable. Maybe, guys, we just need to upgrade this to... Uh, to a, a better kind of uh, road system. The, the problem is, because you've got these intersections, rather than this being a proper roundabout, there's kind of not really too much that you can, uh, you can do. I mean, other than, of course, providing better transport options. But I think a lot of this is, um, is commercial stuff that's coming in to, uh, to deliver to our commercial. Which is, of course, the problem that we've been having. So, yeah. Yeah, that is something we are definitely going to have to keep an eye on. I'm pretty sure it's our, it's our commercial traffic coming in from the, from the highway that's causing a bit of a problem. How can, we, how can we kind of help that situation a bit? Well, I tell you what we could do. What we could do. Just to just to kind of kind of see, is um, create an off ramp off the um, the highway down to there. So now they've got two routes into the city. Oh look, all of the commercial traffic that's going down to uh, Oval Offices is now going to go down here. The question is, is that just going to create a new problem. Well, I guess we're going to have to let the traffic run and see, but I think that's um, it's certainly going to make things a, a little bit better. Got very heavy traffic coming down here, though. Man, all right. Well, we need to create like new new traffic options. How about? How about some subway action, I'm thinking? Um, I really want to get this tile over here. You know what, guys? I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you for suggestions. What I'm, what's going through my mind is to put another subway in that maybe like comes, like starts over here and comes through this district, uh, hooks up with the, um, goes across the, the, the four train, so it gives people a chance to switch to the four train, and then maybe goes up to the uh, to the paper mills, and then swings out to Fifty Shades of Hay. Um, yeah, and then maybe we have another train subway that goes up here through um, through the east side, maybe following um, kind of FDR up here and going that way. Yeah, so uh, subway routes definitely an option. Let's finish looking at our info views. So, we have got, uh, we've currently got no tourists on the buses. We've got 28 tourists on the metro for uh, 1,140 people using the metro every week. We've got um, th only 32 people using the train, which I'm kind of sort of surprised about. I thought we would have had more people using the train, especially tourists. We're only getting like 28 per week. Maybe we need to put in some more stuff to bring in the old tourists. Or maybe we just need to make the city more attractive, which is a, that's a very good point. Um, with boats, we're starting to get some people using our boats and a few tourists coming in on the boats. We haven't put airports in yet. We need a, a city of 75,000 to get our airports going. Uh, total, 74 tourists. Total, 1,200 people uh, on the on the transport we um yeah so like oh man still so much to do buses there's oh, this leveling up population we haven't looked at that that'll be another time outside connections again 
tourism, we already know. Oh, tourist visits per week, 137 apparently. So there's a few coming in by car as well. Uh, land value. Land value. Yeah, we can definitely, definitely increase it. It should all be looking like this lightest white, almost white color. And a lot of it isn't. So we need to put in more services, more parks, all that kind of stuff. Uh, what else? Natural resources we don't really need to look at. Districts, no. And finally, leisure. And you can see, like, there's a ton of leisure facilities that we need to put in for the east and west side and all the way up Broadway. Oh, yeah, yeah. Guys, come back for the next one. So much to do.